I started flying already in 84, 85, so it's quite a long time ago. But already at the beginning, we was quite interesting about to make all the crazy stuff. So first, it was just full stall, negative, and all these kind of things. I have been in uh, El Duca Acro team. So at the beginning, we didn't make so much, but it was a kind of Acro. Later on, in around 92, with, uh, it was Sébastien Bourquin, Andy Ediger, and I. We was, let's say, the first three who make the Grand Spiral. First was Sébastien Bourquin. After it come uh, Andy Ediger, he make the first big wing over above the glider. And this thing gave us the idea for sure for looping. No, first it was not calling acro, it was just calling a crazy stuff. I don't know how they call it, not really acro. The name of acro com came really the day uh, Raul, Rodriguez and I, and another one we created the SAT team. It was the beginning of the acro. Already a bit before in 98, 99. Already in 92, 93, we was doing the first looping. Uh, Raul Rodriguez, Honey uh, Hediger, Sebastian Bourquin and I, we was really the first one to make some looping, kind of looping, let's say. So it, we was starting to showing it a lot. And it start, we start giving the name Acro, for sure, from this time. But we were just loops, wing over, and not so many stuff. And in, around 98, 99, Ra Raul found uh, the SAT maneuver. For first it was no name, but after what we gave the name of uh, our own team. So it start like that. We call the team SAT, Safety Acro Team. We went through a lot of different ideas, like Sex Acro Tandem, and I mean all the and at the end we finished with Safety Acro Team. For sure, Raoul gave immediately uh, the name of the SAT to this maneuver. And this maneuver was the beginning of everything, because now we see it was the beginning. Yeah, everybody starts. We were the first, we were three, four, five pilots to do it around 98, 99, for sure after what everybody starts because it's quite easy figure. But from 2000 on, Raoul already, when he got the SAT, he already got the idea. He knew it will become tumbling, he knew already. Everything was already in his head. He knew because of his figure, the rest will follow. Well, for sure, it was not so easy. At the beginning, the federation and everybody was a bit against us. They didn't want it at Acro, for sure. But we didn't care, we still keep going. and it's become so popular that they have to accept Acro. Everybody, everybody starts from Kupika. In 93, 94, 95, 96, we were just one or two or three pilots making Acro for the spectators. And it's getting bigger, just getting bigger. And now you cannot imagine one uh, paragliding show without Acro. It's not possible. Because people, they watch, the people, they start, pilot starts, they disappear behind the mountain and it's over. So, I mean, we've seen uh, the first World Championship last year, and competition. And, and the nice thing in the story, it is to see now how many people, how many people start ju paragliding just to learn acro. Not to, to make cross country, or, it's also good, but, so it gives a different uh, way in paragliding. Not so boring, maybe, for some young people. And we can see now, it's hundred and hundred and hundred people who fly flying acro. And, uh, so in one way we are very happy, I'm, I'm still young, I mean, but I'm here since very long and from the beginning. So I don't feel like an old one, but we were the pioneer, let's say, the, the beginning. So it's very nice for us, for me, especially to see where I'm coming from, from Saint-Hilaire, to see all the, all the village is flying, all the young are flying, and it's, this is amazing, a lot of young people, it's so good. So for me, it touched me somewhere to see that... Everybody getting crazy and making acro. So yes, so we are the